Good morning and welcome to what is probably my last Bali vlog for now. I am going to take you on a day trip to Uluwatu, which is a part of the island here that is known for its pristine beaches, beautiful sunsets, and just for being a little more quiet than Chengdu. I've never been though before, so I'm gonna just kind of be discovering it with you. So big road trip, it's just me, my scooter, and we have at least an hour drive ahead of us, so let's get going. We made it. I just got to a cafe called Alchemy. This place was recommended to me by one of my neighbors, or old neighbors in Chenggu. He moved to Uluwatu, and this is like one of his go-to cafes, he said. And this is so beautiful. These big barn doors here. I like the way that you can work with the glass window. Oh, it's so spacious. Like you would never see this much space in Chenggu. Fresh juices over here. Also, sorry about the flickering. I was talking to my dad on the phone the other day, and he was like, what's with the electricity in some of these countries you're visiting? Like, it's always flickering, you know? Like, is there not a strong enough power connection like to keep it just going strong? And he's like, that would be so annoying to me in restaurants. And I was like, oh no, it's just my camera. Like, the electricity is fine. It's literally just my equipment. Oh, there's even like a garden back here. I love this place. Sounds like this place is all vegan, which is not surprising when you're in Bali. <laughs> I'm just like accidentally been vegan lately, I feel like. I hardly eat meat anymore. Like yesterday I went to sushi and I got vegetarian sushi. Wow, who am I? So on Sundays, they have a Sunday jazz brunch apparently. Like when I sat down, they said, oh, there'll be music at 11. My food just came, and I got the champion breakfast. It's got a little bit of everything. When I ordered this, I forgot that it is a vegan place, so I just said that. And then the food came, and I was thinking, the, you know, the egg looks a little weird, and like the meat doesn't quite look like meat, and I was like, oh, it's vegan. So I'm not sure what it is, but it does look good. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but that egg is not an egg. That is something else. We need to poke it a little bit, and these meats, no, those are not meat. It's good. It's not a good variety. And normally I make my own breakfast. So it's just usually something simple like yogurt and fruit or hummus on toast. So it feels kind of like a special weekend treat to get just something so beautiful and yummy like this. The best kind of surprise so far about Luwatu is that I'm getting these ocean views when I'm driving. And that's not something that I'm used to in Chenggu because Chenggu is so flat, so you only see the beach when you're like driving up to it. But Luwatu is up on a cliff, and so you just you see the sea, and then you go down this big hill and up this big hill, and it's really nice. And I'm in a parking lot for the first beach that I'm gonna check out, but I gotta show you the view out there, that little patch of blue, that is the ocean out there. Hi! Hi! Can I buy a parking ticket? Yeah. For the parking. Yes, please. 2000. 2000? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. This beach is called Padang Padang, and I saw it on a YouTube video, and it looked really cool because the path to get down, it looks like it was carved into the rock. I'm not totally sure. But I've heard that the route to get to this beach is what makes it cool. Just gotta go for it. Oh, they actually have an entry, it looks like. Hi, is this for Padang Padang? Yes. Okay, and how much? 15. 15, okay. It looks like there might be monkeys here. It says Hati Hati, which is kind of like be careful or beware. So strange to be paying for a beach. I've never done that in Bali before, as far as I remember. So hopefully it's a good beach. Thank you. Thank you. This way? 
I see monkeys. Oh gosh, there's a big one. <laughs> I am not a huge fan of monkeys, as you've probably learned from my vlogs, if you've seen a few. You know, cute but scary. Here, you see that one? There's like a whole family of monkeys in there. Oh, here we go. This is so cool. Yo, this is cool. This is so weird. Like, how do how do people make this? That they carve into the rock? Was it already here and they just added steps? And there's the ocean. Oh my gosh, the water is so pretty. You can already see the blue. Wow. I was not expecting it to be this nice. The water is beautiful. Like, I haven't seen turquoise blue water in Bali. I don't think. I've seen it on like Nusa Lembangan, Nusa Senegon, but not in Bali. And this, like, this is that paradise tropical water. That bright turquoise blue. Oh. Wow, I just can't get over this. I'm just completely shocked right now. Like, you're telling me that Bali has clean, clear, turquoise blue water on the island. Like, you don't have to leave. It's here to the water. What am I doing in Changu? Like, why haven't I been here? I was so close to losing my flip-flops just now. Like a huge wave came. Oh, there's some ashes in the air. A huge wave came and like they started going away. And I was like, oh no, my flip-flops. I got them. I want to stay and just like hang out in the water here all day. I can already feel myself burning and I'm thirsty. So I think it's smart to just keep moving, get an idea of what Luwatu looks like and not get totally sunburned today. There's quite a few monkeys here too, <laughs> but they seem to be pretty chill. Like they're not trying to steal your stuff or they're not attacking anyone as long as you leave them alone, you know? Oh, it's so hot out. Need water. Water. I'm dying. Whew. Hi, for the temple? Okay. Thank you. I am going to take you to the Luachu Temple. That is supposedly the most famous temple down here. There should be some more monkeys, should be a view of the ocean. 50,000 Okay. It looks like we have to cover up. So we have this little station here. Is it wrong? Yes, please. So they have these sarongs that they help you put on. And then I just brought this to cover my shoulders. I'm not really sure what the main thing to see is here, but I see some cliff views. Oh, it's weird having a view up above of the water for once. Now, I know that sometimes they have this fire dance performance that you can book tickets for here. It's called, I think, Kekek, something like that, fire dance. But that's supposed to be really nice around sunset time. You can come and just see a whole different aspect of Balinese culture with this uh, setting of being on the ocean. And I want to say these are the grandstands, like right there, where you would watch that performance. It's stunning here. Quite happy with the stay trip so far. I am spending a lot more than usual though because usually I just go get like a coffee, you know, get some work done, have my cheap local food for lunch. But here I'm like, have all these entry fees to temples and parking fees and beaches. 
and even my I bought breakfast I never got for breakfast here I'm splurging you know I told myself it's a Sunday I'm in Uluwatu and I'm just gonna enjoy myself huh? uh, this is the way I came from and it leads to the entrance Entrance. back to the exit I want to go to the temple. This way. I don't actually know where the temple is. I haven't found it yet. <laughs> but I came from this way. So I'm walking this way too. <laughs> Good luck. I can feel dehydration on the horizon. So I'm going to get a drink after this temple visit. But I was just talking to someone about how like, I don't actually know where the temple is or what it looks like, like what I'm looking for. And I haven't seen any signs. So... We're just walking, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of scared of monkeys. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think you, sh you don't have to because they are calm now. They, they uh, ate a few things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, there's a lot. I found the entrance to the actual temple. Hello there is guys. a temple here. But it's Hello funny because a man just randomly stopped yeah, me yeah. and he said, by the way, if you are on your period, you are not allowed inside the temple. And I am today, so it's like, okay, I guess I'm not going inside. But interesting fact, I'm not really sure what the reasoning is behind that, but it's kind of interesting. I'm definitely going to ask about it later. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. It is so hot. Oh, I can return the sarong here. This drink is called Monkey Business. It has banana, espresso, peanut butter, cacao milk, and cacao nibs. And it's super good. Mm. I actually almost always will get the smoothie if it has peanut butter and chocolate in it and banana. Then for sure I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like that. This one has some espresso, so it's a little different. I'm not sure. I think I like coffee, but I just don't know that I want to drink coffee in this movie. But you know, it is hot today and I need a little like refresher right now. Mm. I mean it's good. Another parking lot, another entrance fee. But I want to show you another beach now that I've had something to drink and just like got out of the sun for a bit. Which is funny because I'm going back in the sun, but honestly like one of the main things I want to see here is the beaches because people have told me, and now we've seen so far, like how nice the water and the Hello, views yeah. are. Oh wait, this is a beach club I think. I want to go to the beach. A lot of construction going on it looks like. of a unique route down. I have no clue where I'm going at the moment. Seems like there's a ton of little shops and different restaurants. So initially I thought it was just one big beach club, but no. I mean, honestly, I have, I have no idea. Holy what's going on here. <laughs> Super random route. Let me see some stairs. Keep going. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Whoa. This is so interesting. I turned the corner and now, totally different place. Found some drinks down here. Yes, one way, something. another beach or well, not quite yet but I'm trying to get to one this one is called Thomas Beach I heard it's less visited like there should be less people there it's a little harder to find which I already experienced because 
the like turn off to get there is really easy to miss. It's just this uh, little narrow path between the, the gate. Yeah. And I parked, but I see people continuing to drive down, so I wonder if I can just keep driving. Uh, we'll see. So far, no entrance fee and no parking fee for this beach. That is the first one. So that is nice. Definitely a little more undiscovered, I guess, or less visited. A lot of view is nice already. Oh, it's quite a walk down there. Oh my gosh. Wow, Thomas Beach. You impress me. This looks like a video game. I don't know what I've been doing in Shanku all this time. Those dogs are trying to hide from the sun down here. I don't blame them. up from that beach was brutal oh my goodness I'm already just like so tired from being in the sun all day and walking up that hill Whew. oh okay yeah this road is a little bumpy <laughs> I found a little local warung just on the side of the road it doesn't have a view of the sunset or I mean there's no sunset yet but it won't so I guess I'll have to go to one more place after this which is fine I'm gonna eat and just take my time let the sun go down a bit and then we'll find the last Uluwatu spot this place is called Loka and yeah it's on a busy street so not the best uh, it's kind of loud but it's rated well I'm not sure that I'll make the sunset actually like now that I'm sitting and resting I just feel a bit like dehydrated and <laughs> tired. I've had such a good day. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm so glad I came to Uluwatu. It's so beautiful. But now I'm just ready to eat and start the drive back to my hostel. Makasi! Yes, I got the vegetarian nasi champur. Normally this would come with meat here, but since I have a flight, I mean in general I've been trying to avoid meat, um, but I have a flight coming in literally just a few days and I'm not trying to risk it, you know? I gotta be careful. Just got back to my hostel. I decided to skip the sunset in Uluwatu and just try to get back as quickly as possible to be honest. I realized that it's a long drive and I didn't want to be doing it in the dark and honestly I'm so thankful like the ride back was kind of intense and I got a little lost but I'm here and there's still some light in the sky overall thoughts today on Uluwatu I honestly love it if you couldn't tell from my reaction to the beaches I thought it was so beautiful and it was just way less traffic there too it felt like still a new and up-and-coming area of Bali and I think the next time I come to Bali for a longer stay I want to try staying there for a couple weeks just to see what it's like but yeah thank you for watching this vlog and coming on this little day trip with me hopefully I will see you in the next one and hopefully I have convinced you to go to Uluwatu. Alright see ya! I'm so happy to be home